Hello friends, this is Webster from my Therapy Garden YouTube channel. We're playing the dirt, help me to take away the hurt. Today, we're gonna to talk about what's eating our rose leaves. And I got lots of questions from my subscribers um, about insects that's eating their rose leaves. And I have one here that's eaten up a lot. <laughs> I got this rose from Jackson Perkins and it's a honey perfume. I got it as a beer root rose and because it was so cold, I didn't plant it. I just put it in a pot. So it's still sitting in the pot, but this is where I'm gonna plant it and I'll show you that in an upcoming video. Okay, now to what's eating our rose leaves. The rose are eaten by caterpillar. Caterpillar from moth or butterflies. And we have like the tent caterpillar, which on top of the rose, it have like the web with that little caterpillar in it. It could be a looper caterpillar or a leaf roller caterpillar. You'll know the leaf roller if your leaf is rolled up and then you'll find that uh, moth in it. But for the most part, it's mostly sawflies. The sawflies will lay their egg underneath the leaves of your rose. Um, I don't really see any there, but if you look, if it's saw fly, you'll find the little eggs underneath it. Then when it's, once the eggs are hatched, the caterpillar would come and start eating the leaves. You could also have leaf cutter bees. A leaf cutter bees would just cut up your leaf on the edges. Um, they won't do much damage to it because it's not really... They don't do a lot of damage. But in any event, we want to make sure that our roses have nice green leaves. Leaves that can capture the energy and make food for the plant so we can have nice blooms. Especially now in May, where you know the uh, roses are going in their first bloom. So what do we do? Well, we'd have to make sure that we spray our roses. And I always like to use a three in one spray. A three in one spray, I'm not advertising, just what I use. Rose three in one. It's a multi-purpose uh, spray for fungicide, insecticide, and miticide. Okay, so it will kill fungus on the plant, you know, any insects you have or any mites that you have. So, but before we spray, we want to make sure that we have our gloves and masks. And we're wearing a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> Preferably, we want to spray in the early morning and a day when it's not very windy. But we have very few perfect days, so you spray your plant as you can fit them in. All right, so again, we're showing you how we spray. We spray the top of the leaves. We want to make sure that we hit the bottom or the back of the leaves because remember that's where most of the larvae would go to hide and that's where all the eggs are especially if it's a soft fly the eggs will be at on the back of the leaves so we want to make sure that we skip underneath all the leaves you get the trunk and also on the ground because remember, if it's like a fungi, the spores of the fungi might fall to the ground. And when the rain fall or when you water that plant, it might splash back up on your plant. So that's why we spray the ground also. And we'll do this for all the roses. We'll continue spraying all our roses with our three-in-one spray. So it's 
there's any fungi we can kill the fungus if there's any insects we kill the insects and if there's any mites we kill the mites and we spray top of the leaves underneath the leaves the trunk and also right around the rose bush I know a lot of people don't like to do this and that's why they say that roses are high maintenance. But we just have to make sure that we take care of our rose because by mid May to June, we'll be having beautiful blooms. And we have, see we have this one right here already with this nice, beautiful bloom. I think this is the Olympiad and lots more coming. Okay guys, there we have it. We uh, spray our rose using a three-in-one sprayer to kill all the fungus, insects, and mites that might be on our rose. And also that we'll um, cut in the rose leaves. We wanna make sure that we have nice rose leaves to capture that energy from the sun and through photosynthesis will provide beautiful bloom for our roses this year. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Questions and comment, drop a line down below. Please share this video and the channel with your friends and family and also on your other social media platform. This is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, not to take away the hurt. And we just talk about um, how to treat our rose when we have fungus, mites, or insect damage. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now. God bless you.